beach is. Yeah! And I'll tell you what, there's gonna be a river of tears inside just a few streams. From this stem ring to that dressing room, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go back to Georgia in a box. I'm gonna peel you just like a little baby peach. What do you gotta say about that? You gotta cry, baby. I'd say she's ready to wrestle. Commissioner of the WWA, Mr. Michael Sanders, and Michael, welcome to POW. Thank you, David. We're uh, we're here tonight to watch this match. We, uh, Dr. Gross called uh, the other evening and had me uh, review the tapes at uh, the Tyndall Armory match in Indianapolis, uh, where there were some improprieties that uh, that did occur. And uh, we're here to make sure that this is going to be a sanctioned match and also that they, uh, the improprieties will be uh, dealt with in a uh, orderly manner. Well, as you can see, we have right with us, Michael, the emblem, the symbol, if you will, of what it's all about, the Statue of Liberty, the gift from the fans to Bambi. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the award, the trophy that was was broken over Bambi's head uh, definitely was totally uncalled for. We, uh, Dr. Gross brought that to my attention right off the bat, and uh, so we flew out, and uh, we're here tonight to make sure that this is uh, these things won't happen tonight. Well, we're glad you're here to watch this bout. Peggy Lee right now taking over. Oh, trying to smash Bambi right to the mat rather than take her around for an airplane spin. And as you can see, Michael, Peggy Lee has a weight advantage of some 60 pounds. Well, it's not only the uh, the weight advantage, but you know, the, one of the things that Dr. Gross has been pointing out is the hair pulling and the uh, and the foreign objects in the ring have really been uh, have gotten out of line here with the uh, with the wrestlers, and we're we're going to start cracking down on this. Thing. Well, I can see your presence has already had an effect in the fact that Luna is absent from ringside. We've got some people backstage, and uh, Luna Luna is uh, is being restrained right now, trying to keep her off the off the ring. Well, this is what it takes. If it takes fines, if it takes putting them in a cage, that's what it's about. And there's a big blow right to the midsection of Peggy Lee delivered by Bambi. You can 
call this battle the Battle of Georgia. There's that hair pulling again, though, that uh, that we see almost in every match, and uh, and I know the the commissioner has is going to is going to start put a stop to those kind of things. Willie's done so by leveling some big fines. Almost a pin by Bambi. And one of the biggest fines you had was that $5,000 fine you delivered to Pali Alizar some weeks ago. That's correct. And uh, we, you know, we still have not received that, uh, that $5,000 uh, payment from her. And, and, and it's uh, questionable whether she will we'll, we'll allow her to wrestle. Well, you're going to definitely have to do something about that, Commissioner. And I tell you, don't accept a check for the Syrian terrorist. Because I bet it might bounce. Cash money is the only way to go with Pali Alizar. Camel clutch, not successful by Peggy Lee. Ooh, inside, twisting. And now, big fly by Bambi. Peggy Lee sailed across the ring. And that was an inside step over toehold that Bambi approached. I tell you what, David, this is uh, one of the toughest matches I have seen in quite some time. They are uh, both battling this uh, right down to the wire. Two minutes remaining in this bout. Uh, looks like maybe she was trying to pull something from her boot there. The timekeeper signaling to me that I jumped the gun by one minute. He has the official time. The assistant, Elise Grossman, checking on the time with the official timekeeper here at ringside. And Peggy Lee sailed right into the front row. Bambi gave her a heck of a boot. This match has the potential of the fans really becoming a, a, bit, a major part of this. It looks like the place is going to be uh, torn apart here shortly. It could be if it goes to the outside. And yes, the, Elise Grossman tells me after checking with the timekeeper that there is exactly two minutes remaining now. I jumped the gun by one moment. One minute. I excuse myself. Peggy Lee, Michael, I think she had an object in her hand. It seems she's tucked it under that shirt definitely have something there I we're gonna have to we'll, we'll, if we can get a chance we'll go back and review that I, I don't know what uh, what that was she did it by disguising it from the cameras as well as yourself she, she had her back she had her back to me at the time I'm not really sure what that was oh a big clothesline that takes Bambi down Bambi going for a, a roll here no only a two count Hold. Only two count on that. Oh, it looked like a double clothesline, Michael. Looks like they're both down. Peggy is, is definitely hurt. She's definitely hurt. She took it right into the, the Adam's apple, and she's choking for air. The fans gathering their energies behind Bambi. 30 seconds remaining. Those have to be open-fisted uh, shots, and they, they're they're doubling up there. I... Peggy Lee on the end of some brutal action right now. Five seconds remaining. Five seconds. Keeper signals for the bell. The time limit has expired. 